This video is for educational purposes only. Please refer to the IFU. Keeping the bevel up, use the 21 gauge micropunctured needle to puncture the common femoral artery. Once the needle enters the artery, blood will be seen dripping from the green hub, which is not shown. Advance the flexible tip of the 0.018 inch guide wire into the vessel, ensuring that there is no resistance. Remove access needle over the guide wire, ensuring it stays in the vessel. Advance the dilator assembly over the guide wire into the vessel. Use a rotating motion if necessary to get the assembly through the skin and soft tissue. Grasp the assembly close to the skin as it is being placed to avoid buckling. Attach the empty syringe to the stopcock and purge air from the balloon. Note that the syringe can be locked to keep continuous suction. Close off the stopcock. Connect the syringe with inflation medium to the stopcock. Fly the J-tip straightener over the J-tip until it is completely housed within the tube. Insert the J-tip straightener into the valve of the sheath until a hard stop is felt. The J-tip straightener can be reused if necessary, as shown. Note the hard stop of the J-tip straightener at approximately 2 cm. To remove the straightener, hold the device at the distal RO marker and slide fingers under the blue tab. The straightener will peel away and then can be removed. Otherwise, advance the device until the balloon portion meets the blue tab and then peel away. Advance to the three black markers for approximate zone 3 deployment. and to the single black marker for approximate zone one deployment. To inflate the balloon, open the stopcock and slowly inflate the balloon until vessel occlusion occurs. Do not exceed the maximum inflation volume of 13 cc's and refer to the IFU for occlusion confirmation techniques. Note that you may have to refill the syringe to enable full vessel occlusion. Close stopcock. Hold on to the device hub to prevent migration and use suture tabs if desired. To deflate the balloon, open the stopcock and draw back on the syringe. To deflate the balloon slowly or for partial verboa purposes, remove 0.2 to 0.4 cc's at a time, closing the stopcock each time. To completely deflate the balloon, draw back fully on the syringe. Maintain suction on the syringe until the balloon is completely deflated. The device is designed to allow for slow deflation to help avoid hypotension. Ensure that the balloon is completely deflated before removal. Detach sutures and remove the device, keeping the sheath secure. If there is resistance, stop withdrawal and repeat balloon deflation step.